I'm almost afraid to leave this hot wax out here overnight and go off and leave it. I'm almost I'm afraid to, man. I know Earl's going to come in here and get into it. And, uh, well, I won't say what he's going to do. Use your imagination. What's going on, folks? Welcome back, and thank you for tuning in. We're going to do uh, something a little bit different today. Not that it's any different to me, but... I don't know if I ever did it on this channel or not. Uh, wax potting your electric guitar pickups. Do they need it? Not all of them do. Some of them has never been wax potted. Uh, I'm heating up the wax over here slowly now. So uh, anyways, these are a couple pickups out of the Les Paul guitar. Obviously, they're not original pickups to that guitar. I can't show you the guitar, but he said I could show you this <laughs> with the wax potting. And... Uh, the reason people do this, you know, you're, you're, if they've never been wax potted, a lot of times you can speak into a pickup, in, in, obviously when it's in a guitar, speak into it, and the pickup will actually pick up your voice. You hear your voice coming out of the amp. You should not hear that. But a lot of pickups you can hear. And most of the old music we've heard, you know, from the 50s and 60s were through unwax potted pickups. I think, I don't know for sure. So you might have to fact check me on this, but I think Eddie Van Halen come up with this idea. <laughs> and it does make a, a world of difference. It makes a huge difference, man. If it changed your tone a little bit, maybe. I don't think it's going to change the tone of your guitar enough that your ear is going to hear it, though. And, uh, you know, when you get on stage, if you, if you don't have wax-potted pickups, okay, you get on stage, what's, that, what's happening in there is the coil is vibrating. Or something. It, maybe it's just a cover over the, the pickup here. This one's gold. Golden plated. You know, but it could be that vibrating or the coil kind of loosely wound. Or maybe it worked loose in places. Uh, the poles could be moving around a little bit vibrating. I mean, there's a lot of things in there that could vibrate a little bit. And then I was going to say, like when you're on stage, you got a whole band and a guy thumping a bass and a drum player. You know, those pickups... All of that is affecting the feedback that you get through this pickup. And you get a lot of feedback through them if they're not wax potted. I don't think these ever were, because uh, like I say, I could just speak right into them and my voice would come out of the amp. <laughs> so we're going to fix that today. And uh, at least I'm going to show you how to do one. I'm, I'm doing them in a jar here. Oh uh, yeah, we have good meltage. Is that a word? Meltage. Anyways, as soon as this stuff gets uh, melted down good enough, you got to heat that up to about 120. I like to see it around 120, no more than 140. I mean, it's pretty dangerous, actually. You want to be careful if you ever do this. It's just a petroleum-based, if I can say it, product, the wax is. You don't want to get a bunch of steam and smoke coming up out of that jar from the wax because that is highly flammable, man. You don't want that. Don't smoke around it. Once the wax becomes liquid, I'm going to get you and show you all this stuff. But once it becomes liquid, you do not want to drop a spark down in that from a cigarette or anything else. And I, if you do it, I wouldn't recommend doing it over a uh, flame. You know, like some kitchen cook stoves, gas, have flame. Notice I'm using an electric uh, burner here. So there's no flame involved. All right? So uh, I'm just... Uh, Watching the temperature very close, the water is about, well, actually it's probably the bottom of the pan, it's just about to boil, reads about 200 degrees, the wax is still melting, like I say, you want, the wax is what you want to keep below 140, safely, you know, you know, like I said, 120 to 140 is a good temperature to have your wax, and, uh, you don't create anything in the atmosphere that's ignitable. <laughs> like I say, it can be dangerous. You can scald yourself. A lot of stuff can go wrong. But uh, I'll bring you back once this gets heated up. But yeah, what I was talking about, from the, all those vibrations, you, you know, the drummer playing and the bass player playing, and if you have, you will eventually have something loose in there, be it the coil, uh, coil windings got a little loose or whatever. Or the poles came a little bit loose and rattling around. And it's picking all this stuff up. It's affecting your pickup. 
and that's going through your amp too. If you can put on the headphones and listen to only what's coming through your amp, you'd hear all kind of noise, man. Well, you can eliminate that noise by wax potting your pickups. I'm going to show you how I do it. I've only been doing it about 40 years. <laughs> but uh, I was thinking I never did one on this channel. I don't think. If I did, I forgot about it. Anyways, I'll bring you back when the wax is uh, like liquid, liquefied. Hold on. Oh yeah, before we get into this too deep, uh, a lot of people use, most people use wax for this. Now there are people that use lacquer for it. Dip the pickup down in lacquer. <laughs> let it set till no more bubbles comes out. And then pull it out, wipe it off and let it dry. I've used that before, but uh, I, I just, I don't like it. I think the wax is better. Another thing I wanted to mention, I used to, I don't do this so much anymore, but I used to take a, like a blow hair dryer and heat these pickups up okay because when you first put them in that hot wax the pickups relatively cool compared to the wax and uh, you'll get a th it'll get a, what we call a thermal shock you'll see the wax start to form you know cooling off and forming on the surface of the pickup it's no problem it melts away you know just in a few minutes shortly after and it gets inside and does its thing so i don't heat them up anymore but i, I did used to do that uh Here's the kind of wax I'm using. It's a golf paraffin wax. I think you can see that okay. Golf paraffin wax. It just comes in. Uh, and we need that other stuck together. Oh, here's one. Square blocks like so. Any kind of golf or paraffin wax. Uh, well, I would suggest not get scented wax. Don't get scented wax unless you want your pickups to smell good for whatever reason. Now, there's people who will argue you up and down, man. Argue, say, you got to have 80% paraffin wax and 20% beeswax or 50-50 or whatever. Folks, I've done this with beeswax. I've done it with paraffin wax. I've done it with uh, mixing them like that. It doesn't make any difference, man. Your ear is not going to hear any difference. You're not going to see or be able to tell any difference in performance of the pickups. So don't worry about that. If you got beeswax, use that. If you got paraffin wax, use it. You don't have to mix this 80-20 crap. I hear a lot of people on YouTube talking about that. Like I say, I've only done it 40 years or so, but and I've done it every way. <laughs> you know, this is just the easiest, cleanest way. Get unscented paraffin wax. I'll leave a link below if I can remember to do it. All right, we're almost there. I'll bring you back when this stuff is ready to be used. I think that's all I was going to tell you. Oh yeah, some people use vacuum, by the way, too. I mean, you say paraffin wax, melt it down like I'm doing, put the pickup in it, and then put a vacuum seal over it and suck all the air out of it. You can do that. It works. I've never did that before, but I see a lot of people doing it and hear a lot of them talking about it. But uh, luckily for me, I've never had to do that yet. <laughs> so anyways, I'll bring you back whenever this is ready. It's going to be a little bit yet. I figured I'd bring you around for a little bit closer up look. Every now and then I take this stick. It's actually it's a paintbrush. And just kind of stir it up around in there a little bit. I may have to put more wax in there than that. But I'm gonna, I want that to melt down first. And I'm going to cut some pieces up and put in there. And we'll get right along with it. There's what I... About how much I put in there, I don't think it's going to be. I thought by using a jar, you know, by the time I set the pickups down in, the wax level will come up. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't think it is for a jar, for that size jar. It's melting really good. So i got to go monitor this uh, temperature oven. I want the wax itself around 120 to 140 degrees. If it gets up to 150, start cranking her back. If it gets up to 140, you want to start cranking it back. That's 122 right there. The unmelted part. And then uh, I'll bring you back and we'll uh, give these bad boys a good soaking. <laughs> oh, yes. She'll be coming along good. It's a waiting game, boys and girls. We're almost there. We're almost there, folks. Got a little bit more left there, but I wanted to show you this. We want uh, uh, no more than 140 degrees. Check that out. 
<laughs> I don't know if the camera's focusing on that or not, but it was right on exactly 140 degrees. And I'm mixing up some more. It's such a little piece, man, is all it's left. And that's what I was measuring the heat off of, that, that little piece. See that? Alright, I hope I got you in good enough so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to take our pick up here and drop him. Oh, so gently down into the wax. Now you might be able to see that turn a funky collar. See bubbles coming up. That's what you want to see is bubbles. That's getting all the air out of that pickup. Like I say, I just left the covers on them. Yeah, I want to only be able to do one at a time unless I put more wax in there and I'm not going to do it. But I'll show you how to do this one at least. And then I'll do the other one off camera because I don't want this video to get too awfully long. I don't know if you can see those bubbles or not. Uh, the bottom of this jar is arched, so it's not like laying flat down on the, uh, and I like to move them around too. You'll notice when you, if you do this, when you pull your pickup back out of there, it'll be quite a lot heavier <laughs> than you remember it going in. Let me check the temperature on that pickup now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 127. Huh. A little bit of heat to it. It's still bubbling. I don't know if you can see them bubbles or not, man. Every little hole on that pickup, the slightest little opening, air bubbles are coming out. And that's what you want. That's what we're looking for. 143. 136. 134. And 139. That is perfect. That's the exact temperature we wanted at. I just kicked the heat back on a little bit. And like I say, you want to bounce him around a little bit so that stuff, the wax, can get everywhere inside of that pickup. It'll coat the coil. It'll coat everything inside and under, under that cover. And there'll be no more noise, feedback. There's a big difference in feedback and distortion. <laughs> Distortion's good. Feedback bad in this the way these you know feedback through a, a pickup that's not wax potted. These are going to be wax potted just shortly. This process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to hold you here for it. I'll bring you back after that time has passed and uh, we'll see about moving on. Alright, well it's been 15 minutes, exactly that, and I don't see any more bubbles coming out of there. I'm shaking him around, I've tilted it up and down two or three times, and the bubbles finally stopped coming out. So I'm going to assume that pickup is full of wax. I'm going to turn this way down low for a minute. got a paper plate over here, and you really don't want to shake, shake all that stuff off. You know what I mean? It's good to uh, keep the thing turned up like this. Wipe off all the excess that you can. It's going to be hot a little bit. It's not bad hot. But, you know, that hot wax, man, <laughs> it's a lot shinier than it was. I could turn that over and every bit of the wax that we just put in there would run out. And I don't want that. That wouldn't be no good, man. So I'm just wiping it off here as we move along. And uh, I'm going to put this other pickup in there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It uh, bubbles coming out. So let me put it in there. I'll bring you back as soon as I can get a hold of you. And I'm not going to keep you here for this whole entire process. Alright, if you look there you can see how pale and milky it looks that will go away 
That's why I used to heat the pickups before I put them in here. We want bubbles, man. Bubbles. A lot of them came out before I could get a hold of the camera. So I'm sorry about that. This is really tough to do. Hold the camera still. Or hold it at all. <laughs> and do this and worry about getting scalded. <laughs> Anyways, that milky look on the pickup is because the wax, you know, the coolness of the pickup caused the wax to cool down. That's why I used to heat the pickups before I put them in here. Don't do that anymore. There's some bubbles. Because eventually it'll heat up enough to melt that pale looking wax and, uh, and it'll all be good. You'll see. I see a bubble about, there's one. Do you see it? So we give that about 15 minutes and come back all right well it's been 15 minutes I'm shutting the heat down I pull that puppy out of there like I say you don't want to let all the turn it up and let all the juice run out of it that you just spent the time getting it in and it's a whole lot easier if you wipe off the excess before it sets up it's a it's a lot easier man to work with But be careful. Like I say, it's hot. Get that side a little bit. And this side a little bit. Just be careful, man. That's all. This one's probably... Yeah, I can pick it up now. I don't know if I can pick this one up. Yeah, it's hot. But I'm pretty tough old. <laughs> bird I reckon and that's all there are to it folks be careful with that wax I'm going to let it cool off before I do anything with that and that's literally all there is to it folks if you don't know if your pickups have been wax potted or not it don't hurt to do them if they've already been done you know, it don't hurt to do them again in fact it, it may help them even and uh, like I say, the old uh, the old days, you know, hardly all any of the music, all the music we heard was played through unwax potted pickups. And uh, I don't know for sure, but I think Eddie Van Halen may have started or had something to do with it. Maybe it was his idea, or maybe he did it first. I don't know. I've read that one time. I can't remember. It, but like I say, uh, be careful because it's hot, and uh, you know, if you get that wax too hot, it starts creating. A, I don't want to call it smoke, but. Uh, Mist or, mist or something in the air that is highly flammable and very dangerous around fire spark i haven't smoked since i started doing this i'm, I'm going to smoke here pretty quick anyways thank you guys for watching i hope it helps and i'll see you next time uh -huh.